Scream 5 is not as good as the original, but it's still pretty good actually. Probably 6.5, 7 out of 10 ish. Um, so yeah. I haven't seen Scream 2, 3, or 4. I only seen the first one and this one. Or Scream 5 or whatever. Overall, I actually kind of liked it for the most part. Okay. Uh, first act, very sluggish in terms of pacing. Characters are super unlikable. Like the side characters, you know? Um, the dialogue is really cheesy, grungy, it's, yeah, kind of dumb, generic, teenage horror movie type of writing, which is not good. But then in Act 2, it gets better. The suspense is there, the kills get better. The fake out scene was really good. It, it just, it was, it was just better. And in Act 3, okay, yeah, that's where it hit. The killer reveal was good, the motive was good. I liked it, you know, got better, very entertaining fight scene and stuff, and the killers were also really entertaining, uh, it was pretty predictable for the first killer, the guy, okay, he was pretty predictable that he would be a killer, but then the other one wasn't, it didn't surprise me that much, it was like, still up in the air, is it her or someone else, you know, obviously by the end of the movie, you're like, oh yeah, it's 100% her, uh, her, but uh, before that, I didn't really suspect that character to be the killer. Try not to spoil. I'm trying not to spoil the movie, by the way, <laughs> as is, you can tell. This is yeah. This movie is, uh, or this review is a non-spoiler movie review. But I will say this: um, they are very entertaining, and the ending <laughs> it was it was great. You know, uh, the, the ending fight scene was just really good, very brutal, and yeah. Uh, overall, I enjoyed the movie. It did, like I said, the pacing does get better in uh, Act 2 or 3, but it, the first act, oh my god, it's a slug, and the writing's really bad and stuff like that, but after that, in the second act, third act, it gets better. The kills, though, great. The suspense is great. The the use of the modern technology with the tracker, the um, cell phone calls, and people getting distracted and stuff. Uh, were pretty good actually so yeah it was great also death scene in the movie for one of the major characters okay so I, you know, that's kind of a spoiler but yeah I, I honestly uh, not gonna say who it is but that one was actually a good scene um, because it, they handled it well it wasn't really cheesy or too dramatic you know and yeah uh, also, the main character is fairly likable, and her sister is fairly likable also. But they're not like insanely good characters, but they're just, they're enough to keep the movie going. You know what I mean? And, um, yeah. And overall, it's not a bad movie or anything. It's like a 6.5 out of 10, I would say. If I were you, go see it in the theaters. Um, yeah, that's the way to see it, you know. And overall... I hope you enjoyed the review, hope you enjoyed the movie, you know, comment your opinion below, and bye.